So to start off our bridal makeup, one of the most important things, you guys, is your foundation. You want something that doesn't have an SPF for that special day. You're going to have a lot of pictures taken, and that flash bouncing off the SPF is going to give you a white cast. You want to make sure that it's something a little bit more matte finish, too, because we want to put shine just in strategic places. My go-to foundation for brides is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and... This is a great foundation because it gives you that matte finish so you can choose where you want to put your shine. You don't want to wear something very dewy all over because, again, that photography is going to bounce off of that shine. It's going to make you look a little bit greasy. So you want to keep it mostly matte, and then I'll show you in a bit how to get a little bit of shine on your cheeks. So I applied that with a uh, flat foundation stippling brush. Just stipple it all down and also come down your neck just a little bit so that way it matches your face. So foundation is done. And then for the powder, I just used the Maybelline Dream Powder with a sponge. And I took the sponge and just dabbed it all over the face in a very, very thin layer because you don't want it to be cakey. Okay, onto the eyes. You wanna make sure that you put down a primer so that way throughout the long night of you having fun with all your guests, dancing, doing whatever, that it lasts a long time. I'm gonna use a Max Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. It's a slight shimmery color. We're just gonna put this on the lid. So, I got my base down. Okay, you guys are going to take a stiff dome brush like this one, and I'm gonna go in with a purple shadow. Now, if you guys don't want to wear color on your special day, you could do a tan color, but I believe having just a little bit of color on the eyes, especially purple, because it makes any eye color pop, it just looks really, really nice in photographs. So that's why I add just a little bit of color, not much. I'm using the Makeup Geek Shadow in Wisteria. Take the stiff dome brush, and we're going to softly buff this in the crease because we want it to be very wearable. We don't want a super amount of purple. So just buff that in the crease using windshield wiper motions. Same brush, wipe it off. Now go in with a color close to your skin. For me, it's Beaches and Cream. And we're just going to buff this under the brow bone just to really soften everything out. Just do little circle motions like this. And then to darken the outer part of the eye just a little bit so that way your lid really pops, especially on film. I'm gonna take a darker purple, this is Drama Queen. And I'm gonna take the um, Outer V brush. We're taking just a little bit of this because you don't want it to be too, too dark for your special day. We're gonna put this on the outer part of the eye, just a tiny bit like this and buff it out then if you feel it's too dark go back in with that stiff dome brush and that lighter purple and just go over it and buff it out a little bit okay now it's time for the winged liner because that's something that's very modern and fresh so that's how we throw a modern twist on it but we're not going to wing it out too too much because again we want to keep it toned down for your special day you don't want it to look too dated 10 20 years down the road Hopefully you stay married that long. <laughs> Take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the back of your hand so it's not too, too sticky. We're gonna use this as a guide for the cat eyeliner. So what you're going to do is pretend your lower lash line is extending out. You want the tape to be right against that water line and that's gonna be your guide. So let me put it on and show you guys. Okay, let me get in the second camera. Do you see how it's touching the water line right there and it's just extending out? That's the guide for your liner. Now you're going to take a bent liner brush and the Makeup Geek gel, <clears throat> excuse me, gel liner in Immortal. It's a nice black color. Now if you guys have fair skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, you have lighter features, black may be a little bit harsh, so you want to do dark brown, so I would do Momster instead of Immortal. So take the liner. We're going to stay, don't go past your crease, but we want the wing to kind of start there, just like that. And then you're going to connect it to the upper lash line, just like that. Okay, so once you have this filled in, then you can pull off the tape. And you see how that instantly gives you that cat eyeliner. If you have a little shadow under your smudge like I do, you can just take a Q-tip and just kind of clean that up a bit. Now another big step for your big day is to wear lashes. Now if you don't feel comfortable wearing the false lashes, go see an esthetician to get some lash extensions put in because it's gonna make all the difference with your photos. It just makes your eyes really, really stand out. 
The ones I'm going to use today are the Ardell Demi Levies. These are perfect for wedding because they're very full, but the base of them is invisible, so it won't give you that harsh line. They'll look a little bit more natural. Now, the key to making lashes stay on and making them not a mess to put on is you want to get a good glue. I use the Dual Lash Adhesive, and you're going to put a thin layer of glue right on the band. Now the trick is to let it sit for almost a minute before you put them on your lid. So you want this glue to sit and start to get a little bit tacky. If you put them on right away when they're wet, they'll move around and they'll mess up your whole eye look. So that's a key into making the lashes much more easy to put on. Okay, so it's been about a minute, you guys, and the glue is starting to change colors. I use the dark glue. It starts to get a little bit tacky and get lighter in color. So what you're going to do is take tweezers at the base of them right in the middle. You're going to look in a mirror, take this center and line it up right with the center of your lashes. Put the lashes on your lashes. Don't put them on your actual lid. You want them to be on your natural lashes. And then take the edges and just press them down. Now your final step for the eyes is to apply a waterproof mascara. My favorite one is the L'Oreal Carbon Black one. It really makes your lashes look thick, but again, make sure it's waterproof and you're gonna put on a good two coats on upper and lower lashes. Now it's time for the cheeks. You want to contour under the cheekbones just a little bit so that way your cheekbones really pop on camera. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Press Powder in Golden Light. You want something that's just two shades darker than your skin. So let me hold it up to my skin. Do you see how it's just two to three shades darker? Now to get a natural kind of contouring, because you don't want it to be super sharp and angled, you want it to be kind of a soft contour, I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush and the contour powder and see how it's angled so it's perfect for getting right under the cheekbone without applying too much. All I'm doing is doing a kind of an angled line like this right under the cheekbones. Take a little bit more. We're gonna come alongside the temple up here. Just stipple it out. Same brush, now we're gonna go in with a blush. If you have fair skin, you wanna go for a peach blush. If you are medium to dark skin, go for kind of a rosy, or if you have dark skin, I would go a little bit brighter for like a, um, like a medium pink or like a fuchsia color, something that's close to your skin color but a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D blush in Wish. You see how it's somewhat close to my skin, it's not too, too bright or dark. Take that same brush, we're gonna put this just above the contour powder, leave right here on top of the cheekbones blank because we're gonna use that for a highlight. And you want just a little bit of blush, don't go too overboard, but that's why I like this brush because it kind of prevents that because it's so big and you know fluffy. <laughs> All right, so the cheek highlight, I'm going to use the Lorac one, Perfectly Lit. This is the color Spotlight. I'm switching to a cheek brush, this is the cheek highlighter brush. This is what's gonna give you guys the glow to your skin. So you want your whole face to be somewhat matte, but you want your lids and the tops of your cheekbones to be very um, like highlighted so they pop on camera, but you don't look greasy because your whole face isn't shiny. So what I'm doing is just stippling this right on top of the cheekbones. Do you see how beautiful that glow to the skin is? Okay, final step is the lips. Now obviously you're gonna kiss your groom, you're gonna be drinking, you're gonna be all doing all sorts of stuff. You want your lips to last all night and have to be going to the bathroom every hour and reapplying it. So a key for that is to use a lip liner as your base. I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear one. It's meant to last all day. This is the color in anticipation. It's a nice medium pink color. What I'm going to do is line the lips. You like how I try to talk when I'm putting on lip liner? I'm like, okay, can you guys understand what I'm saying? So line the lips with this nice soft pink color. So now take the side of the pencil and fill in the lips a little bit. This is gonna set the base and make the color last all night long. Okay, now on top of your lip liner, you want to use a lip stain of some sort, but you don't want something too drying because you don't want your lips to look, you know, crackly and all of that. One of my favorite ones that's very wearable are the Revlon um, Balm Stains. These are amazing. This is the color number 25. It's just a nice medium pink color. I love these because they're a little bit shiny, 
but they really do last a long time because it stains the lips. So all I'm doing is putting this on top of the liner to really set that color in. Okay, so this is the complete bridal look. Do you see how it's just a little bit brighter? It's not super washed out because when you have that photography, again, it's gonna wash out about 20 to 30% of the color. So you have to go above just a little bit what you are comfortable with. And then to set the makeup for all night long of having fun with your family and friends, you want to get a setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay De Slick one. So once you put on your makeup, you're just going to hold it about um, a foot and a half away from your face and just, just mist it slightly. And what this is going to do is set your makeup and make it to where it lasts all night long. It won't break down with your oils and all of that stuff. So hopefully that helps you guys with your bridal makeup. Congratulations. I hope your day is super special. Go to makeupgeek.com. We'll have pictures and some specific tips on what to do for your bridal day so you guys can do your own makeup for your special day. You don't have to hire out for that. So um, stay safe out there and happy and healthy. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.